What's going on everybody? Just wanted to show you something here. See all that? Bam! Uh, no, I didn't tear anything. <laughs> I actually went to get scraped this morning um, just to help, you know, break up the muscle adhesions and whatever else. So, yeah, it looks pretty wicked right now. I just got it done today. Oof. Didn't really hurt that bad. It looks a lot worse. Um, but I was working from uh, with Jim from Pro Star Massage in East Brunswick. And now I'm seeing him some traffic on the way home on this lovely Friday. Um, it's actually 89 degrees. You know, it's nice to actually have some sun and not rain and cold. I'm not the guy who complains either way. I'm just, listen, man. I'm glad every day I wake up on the right side of the grass and my family's healthy. Um, the weather really doesn't matter to me much, so you'll never see me moaning on Facebook or anywhere else about it. I don't really care. Uh, anyway, I wanted to give you a little status update as to uh, my contest prep. I'm officially, as of Friday, May the 4th be with you, down to 170 pounds. Um, right on time, guys. Like, perfect. My body completely cooperated. Um, things are going well. I, I'm really happy with the way I look in terms of my overall muscle size, definition. Um, you know, I, I couldn't ask for much better. So, this past week, as, as the previous week, we stayed at 125 grams of carb carbohydrates, 220 grams of protein, and around 48 grams of fat. Uh, I did two cardio sessions of about 25 to 30 minutes a pop. Nothing special. Uh, and now it's going into peak week for May 12th. So I'm just about that one week out starting tomorrow. We are going to do a glycogen deplete. So for Saturday through Tuesday, my carbohydrates are dropping down to 105. Um, we are going to be doing cardio all those days. Um, my salt intake is going to come down a little bit. We're not getting rid of salt. There's a reason why we're doing this. Um, you know, we're going to drop sodium. I'm usually around 21 to 2200 milligrams on a given day. We're going to drop to around 1600 milligrams. Carbohydrates are coming down. Water staying the same. We're not going to screw with that. Um, through Tuesday. And then the plan is come Wednesday, uh, we're going to start carving up ever so slightly. And we'll make, you know, on Monday, uh, the 7th, I'm going to be sending pictures and weigh-ins every day to see if and what adjustments we're going to make along the way. Um, you know, we may want to do more carbs, we may want to do less carbs. We'll all see it based on how my body is uh, moving on the scale and how it looks in the mirror. So I'll be sending a front and back pose to my coach every one of those days throughout the week. Um, I actually just stopped at Vitamin Shop to ensure that uh, I have everything I need. My wife has done some food shopping for me as well, so that I have you know peanut butter, jelly, grape jelly, because that's the only one I like, um, rice cakes, um, some baby oil so I can strip off the tanning, not so that I can oil myself up, so I can strip off the tanner, because Dream Tan is one of the best ways to get it off. Um, you know, some raggedy towels, some garbagey sheets so that I don't destroy things, uh, salt, uh, you know, all the, the bells and whistles that I need for the day that shows like a pump up, carb up, salt up, all that fun stuff. So, besides that, I want to be honest, guys, you know, the other week I felt really, really good. This week, for some reason, even though the food was the same as last week, um, I've been really drained. I had really bad sleep the other night. My sleep has been pretty good throughout prep, and usually as you get leaner, your sleep gets worse. But the other night, I don't know if I just had something in my head or whatever. I tried. To, I felt tired. I went to bed, and then I stared at the ceiling for an hour and a half. Couldn't get to sleep. It's not about the show. I don't know what it was. I just couldn't get to sleep. And then once I got to sleep, I didn't stay asleep, um, which actually made my weight jump up a little bit, and then you know it re-regulated itself. But then last night, I watched the Cavs dominate Toronto by 20. Um, and I went right to sleep and I was out like a light, so my weight immediately dropped, which was good. Um, see, sleep it comes into a large, you know, large amount of play here of getting fat loss and water weight and all the things that go on with hormones. Um, but I got good sleep last night, but Thursday's workout, my back workout was just, I was mentally couldn't have given a crap less. Um, I did it, I went through it, I did everything. Um, but I, I don't know what I did, if it was from legs on Tuesday or something, but I have a really sore left rib, which I was working on this morning, 
to try to get it to just not be so tender. Um, you know, I'm gonna ice it down and do some things to try to get it to heal up a little bit. Um, sorry, the road's really bumpy. Um, but yeah, my, my left rib right underneath my pec is really tender. Um, I think my mistake was I wore my, um, my belt a little too tight and due to the fact that I don't have as much body fat on me, probably dug into my ribs a little bit. It's not the first time I've had a sore rib um, kind of leading to all this, but um, just I feel worn out and it's going to be what it's going to be. The next four days are going to be rough. I'm not going to lie. I kind of loved having those refeeds on the weekend, but we're going to do this deplete. We're going to do what the coach tells me to do grind through it um, and get ready to, to do showtime. Um, I hope all of you guys enjoy this whole secret prep that I did, kind of not announcing it. There was, you know, during this journey a lot of times where I thought about saying screw it, start posting the videos, start posting the progress pictures, but you know what, it felt nice not to have to constantly put content up, uh, try to keep up with the videos, so now this is going to give me several weeks worth of content. Plenty of progress pictures that I can give throughout for the next couple weeks on my Instagram, kind of showing the transformation. Um, you know, I do have a secret Facebook group for all my clients that, you know, I gave them progress pictures and status, you know, status updates every week to show them what my process was, you know, to understand, help them understand that I, I know what they go through. Um, I understand the mental drain, the physical drain, and everything else that goes along with this. I understand not necessarily always having the best support system around you and people who try to tempt you to you know fall off and all those type of things um but overall everybody that's been around me i have to say has been absolutely supportive i, I met a lot of cool people during this process that i believe are all going to be coming to my show supporting me cheering me on um you know i'm going to go on stage in about a week here i'm going to pose my ass off I'm going to give it everything I have. Um, that's why I've worked as close as I have with a chiropractor and massage therapist. That's why I've been so, I mean, I was always good with my diet, but you know, I, I made sure to really control my diet and make sure that I was using the most whole food sources possible, make sure that I was getting the micronutrients and stuff I needed just to help me with recovery. Um, made sure I kept my water intake up. I didn't slack off. I didn't make excuses. I didn't cut corners. Uh, I did everything that I was supposed to do. So the rest now is going to be me presenting myself on stage to the best of my ability. And the rest after that is going to be who the judges like the best, uh, who brings the best package and who the judges think brings the best pass package. And if I don't win, it's going to be back to the drawing board on how to improve my physique. And it's simple as that. Uh, I'm not going to claim politics. I'm not going to claim anything else. I'm not going to throw a hissy fit. I'm not, you know, whatever. I know I'm bringing my best. If somebody beats me or the judges think they're better than me, by all means, hands down to them. Um, this is a subjective sport. It is what it is. You either learn to deal with that or you cry and leave the sport. There's, there's no other way around it. So, um, all right, guys. I mean, I'm sorry. Like, I'm a little hazy right now. The carbohydrates are getting low. So, my brain is not, uh, you know, firing at the usual rate that it's firing at. In fact, I actually have some Starbucks coffee right now. I didn't really have that much caffeine this morning, so I saved a little bit for later today just to give me a pick-me-up. But that's about it. I have my trunks, I have my song, I have my tanning stuff, I have my prep stuff that I need for the day of. I'm going to shave down in a couple days, get the leg hair off. And that's about it, guys. It's, it, I, you know, some people try to make this out to more than it is, and maybe I should. I mean, maybe I should, maybe I should hype myself more. Maybe I should you know, make this sound harder than it is. Maybe I should show you suffering and I'm just not that way. Um, I just kind of like, I, I made a decision. I'm cool with it. It doesn't matter how much it sucks. It doesn't matter how tired I am. It doesn't matter how beat up I am. I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, I'm not looking for worship. I'm not looking for anybody to kiss my ass. I'm not looking for sponsorships. I'm not looking for anything. Uh, I'm just doing what I can to bring the best that I have to give. That's it, all day, every day, when I'm in the gym, that's my mentality of give the best you've got, um, do the best you can, assess things honestly and make tweaks where you need, and that's it. And um, I wish I could be different. I wish I could be like one of these showy guys, but I'm, I'm just not. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave them below. There will be show day footage, I hope, as long as I can get somebody to uh, you know, cover. You know, I've already paid for the stage shots. I've already paid for 
the DVD for the stay of the show. So as soon as I get that stuff, I'll post that as well. But also try to get some footage off my phone and, and things that I can at least give you a little bit of a taste of what the day was like that day. I don't know how active I will be as I'll be more worried about, you know, pumping up. So this, this, the show is May 12th. It's gonna start at 12 p.m. I gotta do a competitor check-in around 9.30. Check in with my coach, because he'll be there. And uh, let the games begin, guys. All right, I'll talk to you later.